Hi, this is uh, Jay Prakash Prabhakar, uh, uh, JP from Lean Wisdom. I'm the founder of Lean Wisdom, and I'm also an Agile and Safe consultant. Um, I've been practicing, uh, you know, Safe, implementing Safe ever since uh, Safe was launched, uh, right from uh, 2011. Yeah? So we are going to have a, a series of videos, uh, and this video is about productivity. How do we increase productivity? Right. So there are many times that you know when I most of the time that I go to my you know in my consulting assignment, people call me and say that hey, one of the reasons that we want to do uh, focus is increasing productivity. What does it mean? Now I ask them, okay, tell me what is your definition of productivity? And customers say that yeah, we should be much more productive than how we are today. Uh, we go much more detail, then they come back and say that uh, we need to make sure that our people are loaded people are utilized fully right what does it mean productivity is equal to utilization this is a common matrix sometimes people don't tell me explicitly uh, sometimes they tell me but finally the underneath the message is productivity is utilization is that a right thing to do is that a good thing to do measure productivity as utilization measuring productivity is totally a good thing to do it's a very good thing to measure but the question is Measuring productivity as utilization, is it the right thing to do? If you ask me, I would say totally no, which is totally wrong. Why? Why productivity cannot be utilization? Yeah? Let me give you an example. Let's assume that, you know, let me take a team, a team A, right, which is of nine member team, uh, a scrum team. And our focus is on increasing productivity, which is equivalent to increasing their utilization, load people with work in other way to say yeah so let me give you an example of uh, what happens if you load people with you know uh, with, with work and that's the pri primary focus in, in, a, in a two week sprint so there are 20 stories that they pick during a sprint plan and say that hey guys you should be loaded we want to make sure that you know you are fully loaded yeah what happens team starts picking each individual picks a story they start working on it right so immediately you will see in, in no time, you will see at least 50% of the stories are in progress. We feel happy about it, yeah? So, we are stories are in progress, we are happy about it. What happens in the journey? Two, three issues that you will see. Number one, I pick my story, you pick your story, other person picks their story. It becomes my story and your story. It's not our story, yeah? It becomes, it's my work, it's your work. We, we are not a team. We are a bunch of people working for the, for the project, not one team, yeah? So, what is the issue with that? Now, there are too many, too much of work in progress, it's going on, right? At one point, at the end of the sprint, one visible issue that you will notice is, at the end of the iteration sprint, you will see that out of 20 stories, probably 10 are done, fully done. Yeah, and what happens to the remaining thing? The remaining 10 of 10 stories, they are probably in progress. Nothing is in, not started. Now, what is good here? How good is in progress? We feel happy because we started. But is that a good thing? It's totally wrong thing. We should not be in progress is not good. In my view, if you look at a scrum board, not started is good, done is good, in progress is bad. So now in this case, end of the sprint, we have picked 20 stories in the beginning. At the end of the sprint, 10 are fully done, 10 are in progress. Okay, but people are fully loaded, 100% loaded. Is that a good thing? Did you get a result? What was our result? What was our expected uh, result? Delivering value to customer. End of the sprint, deliver how much more value that we deliver to customer is what is is what is important for us, right? Not loading with people. Let me take another case. Productivity is equal to uh, is not equal to utilization. What does it mean? Productivity is equal to value delivery. How do you measure value delivery now? Right? Take team B, which is a similar nine-member team, which is working on I don't know, pick 20 stories, and as a team, they pick one story at a time or two stories at a time they don't load them with too many stories they load with very they load them you know, themselves with, with a less number of stories but they finish the stories quickly they pick one story finish day one or day two two stories are done then they pick next two stories three day three one or two stories are done day four one or two stories are done when they progress like this at the end of the sprint you will notice that probably 15 stories are done and or even you know 13 to 15 stories are done and the remaining stories are not even started now we have one side the situation is we have 
picked 20 stories, we delivered 10, remaining 10 in progress. On the other side, right, a team which is focused on value delivery, they delivered 13 stories and remaining all are not started, completely not started. Where is the productivity here? Here, in the second case, probably team is not fully loaded. You may see some people maybe having a little time, free time, but they delivered more value compared to this team. So productivity measurement as utilization is, is wrong. Productivity measure as, as a value delivery is the right thing to do. So if you are doing this, you know, the first one, like, you know, as a utilization, I would suggest, you know, move out of that and start focusing on value delivery. It is one of the, one of the goals of agility. You know, shorter time to market, shorter time to go, shorter to lead time, shorter to cycle time. Right? So, so you know, well, thank you for watching this video. Going forward, you know, I hope you will focus on increasing productivity through value delivery, not utilization. Thank you.